I need a new table, but we need to make a big printer first. This we have to do. This is just 27 kilos of aluminium that broke the table. This is the one that hit the ground first, it seems. I just realized that the saw that my aluminium supplier uses to cut these uh, extrusions is anything but square. So I will have to clean every single end on every single profile. Don't worry. Much better. wasn't because I know that it's never too much, I would say that this is too much, but it isn't. It isn't. It isn't. HGR20 rails, which if it wasn't because it's me, I would say it's overkill, but it, it, isn't. it isn't. And at this point, you already know the drill, this one. So it's time for marking, punching, drilling, drilling, and tapping. I think I, I will skip the gym today. These are 1.5 meter rails and I ordered 1.5 meter extrusions. Now it should be as easy as screwing the rail to the extrusion. But as the ends of the extrusions weren't square, I had to trim it a bit. So now this is just a tad longer than I need. And now it's time to bolt the guides onto the extrusions. But remember, the fact that the guides come with so many holes doesn't mean that you have to use them all. And now that the guides are on, I need to make the holes for the front braces, if I can find where. This is the front right. Yes. And with these holes, the vertical posts are finished, at least until I remember what I forgot. And now it's time for the Y-axis guides. But before we do that, a quick ad from longtime sponsor of this channel, Altium Designer. Altium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system, and it allows engineers to effortlessly connect with every aspect of the electronics design process. 
over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment that makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Altium Designer, keep your most valuable design data secure and accessible in one centralized location and efficiently find and place the parts you need without interrupting your design focus. And on that note, Octopart, which is the preferred search engine for electronic parts, was acquired by Altium. So now you can get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Altium 365. Octopart allows you to search across hundreds of distributors and thousands of manufacturers and it is a real-time part selection assistant embedded into the workflows where users choose or validate parts. For a free Altium Designer trial, click the link in the description. And now, let's get back to the frame. These two are complete, and I think there is only a couple of holes missing on these two in here. All the parts of the machine are represented lying on the back. So this is the back, front, bottom, top, left and right of the machine. So I will remove now everything that is from the sides and the front of the machine. So I have space to assemble the ring that is going to be the back of the machine. Or something like that. The table this time is too small for real. It's too small. It's too small. It seems that I trimmed this one a little bit too short. I would say that even without reinforcements or braces, it feels quite strong. In this direction, it still feels a little bit wobbly. So we are gonna try some braces for which I made the holes in the wrong side, so I will have to make new holes. So let's do that. Second bit fallen for this project because I forgot that there is an old thread inside the extrusions. I've been printing some feet in the background and I forgot to install them before assembling the frame. So I think now I will find out if I can put this back on the table. If 
anything, this looks properly absurd. I'm using a failed first layer as a template for the holes, which is pretty convenient. It's going to be quite difficult to see the first layer. The frame is complete. This will be a great time to subscribe if you aren't, because this is gonna be epic. Thanks a lot to all my members and Patreons. Thank you. And now please go and make something.